Um, okay, here's something I'm, I'm excited to talk about more than anything. Uh, Spider-Man! Spider uh, it looks like there's rumors floating around of a new Spider-Man game. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. A, mar uh, a Marvel superhero in a video game and the I mean which is uh, honestly sort of rare right now. I really uh, ever since the Avengers. No, no, no. There was a Spider-Man game on PS4. No, there wasn't. Yes, there was there absolutely Amazing was. Spider -Man the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Spider oh, too. well that was yeah. I mean that was trash. Yeah. Like, but it was still a game. I mean <laughs> that was that was <laughs> well, let's, I'll be I'll be realistic. That was Marvel licensed Activision shovelware. Was yeah. it like, also a PS3 game that was I think so. Probably. Yeah, it's probably I think it was. Probably came out for DS like it's that's what I really hate is that Activision was like, oh, we've got this incredibly valuable license. Uh, like Deadpool was fun, mm -hmm. but it was also like Deadpool was super fun. It was super fun, but it was also not a great, great, great game. It was, it was close to being a was, great game. Exactly, and if they'd let them spend more time on it, a little if bit they more time. treated it like a AAA game, if yeah, they treated it like right. a Call of Duty, it would have been incredible. Yeah, but yeah. the thing was, at that point, Deadpool didn't have the cachet he does now. Yeah, I feel well, like I mean, if that did, game existed now, he would. I mean, they did. Like, yeah, you're Activision right. They did the same thing. it feels like. That, uh, I feel like Activision treats third-party stuff kind of like the Dursleys treat Harry Potter. Like they're like, "This ain't our kid. He lives under the stairs." Yeah, and they're in the yeah. closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the dishes. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, "Yeah, people buy it. Whatever." It's a name. I like brand, the idea you know? that Dudley is Call of Duty and Destiny. Yeah. Skyland. Call of Dudley. <laughs> Call of Dudley. But um, I, I significantly remember um, Spider-Man Three. I played a ton of that game. Had really, really good boss fights, but yeah. ever since then, I don't think. I mean, so Spider-Man Two that much. was an incredible game, and that was that game that was this amazing open-world game on mm -hmm. the PS2 it had combos, era. And you could incredible swing around the city, was, and there yeah. were side quests. You were and... grabbing side quests from people. The swinging mechanics were incredible. Two and three were really good. Um, yeah, totally. And then so this week, uh, two different things formed. Uh, a listing on an actor's uh, online resume showed that uh, he's doing mocap for a Spider-Man game on PlayStation Four. Uh, he also has done mocap on Halo Two Anniversary, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. Uh, so it was just untitled uh, Spider-Man PS4 project. Mm. Uh, but then also uh, there's a uh, uh, there's this Twitter website, something called Nerd Leaks, that uh, has a track record for getting things right, rumors right, and little diggings right. They also get things wrong, so take it with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. uh, but they said that what they've heard is that Sucker Punch, uh, the developers behind uh, Infamous and Sly Cooper, are going to be working on it. Real interesting because yeah. Spider-Man. The movies are owned by Sony. Sony, yeah. Uh, Marvel is being like, "Oh, we're going to take control of this," and Sony's like, "Okay, sure." But Sony still does have, you know, right. a, a certain game console we're all yeah. very fond of, and totally. they've got some studios at their command. They yeah, have it's a track record of doing superhero games. Imagine that. Yeah, and like, I mean, like honestly, it's one Infamous? of those. Style Spider-Man game totally and Sign me up. like but between Sly Cooper and Infamous like that's a studio that deals so heavily with like motion and fluidity yeah. and like totally fluidity like allowing you to control characters in a way that few other games do and that totally makes it like of any superhero I can think of like Spider-Man has that like almost ballerina style to him that you do want that sort of control yeah. and animation mm -hmm. and we haven't heard anything from Sucker Punch since it just uh, what was the Infamous DLC called Last Light. First light. Uh, first light. First light. First light. That's the opposite of the last light. Yeah, I, mean, like, I just, this, like, I don't know. We can cover this uh, written, because, like, I just can't, I don't know what the legal gymnastics are that gets Activision Spider-Man rights into a Sony first-party studio. Like, that is such yeah. a, yeah. I don't, I just can't imagine this being real. And it's like, I would love to be wrong, but it's just, I don't know how, how Sucker Punch works. could be doing this. Yeah. Like, I just, I also don't know why Sony would take someone it's, in their first party a, stable and put them on a licensed game. I mean, it's a very, like, a veritable civil war of, of uh, <laughs> various license holders. I mean, you say licensed game, like in a pejorative term, which I totally get, but if done right, Batman's a licensed game. Sure. No, no. I, I don't even mean to say in a pejorative term. I more mean that Sony doesn't own that IP. Yeah, so it's, just, it's like it's, it's more like if they make the best Spider-Man game of all time, can they make a sequel to it? Like that's that's kind of where it gets complicated. But yeah, I mean, totally. I I I think like the fantasy of it, like that pedigree of Infamous and of Sly it kind of being perfect. in a Spider-Man game yeah. sounds incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but I, don't know. I, I agree know what that, that looks like. legally that doesn't really make sense. Yeah. When you think about who owns what. I think, uh, man, it that? is so easy to imagine, though, like just like the, like the abilities you have in Infamous being applied to like what Spider-Man can do, even mm -hmm. just in, like it's not even just movement so much as like 
what combat would look like from enemies even oh, totally. like it yeah. just oh, it would be so cool yeah. I, I would love to love to be wrong and love to yeah. see this yeah. happen and it's funny I just, just I just want some new Marvel games I also yeah. hope you're wrong Andrew I mean, yeah I know I generally hope you're wrong yeah. Uh, but yeah I mean it's funny since uh, since the MCU existed I guess we had a we had a Captain America uh, first from Avenger movie, yeah. game that was sort of like it was they fine just, it was fine they just took everything from uh, Arkham Asylum yeah. and it played exactly like that but since everything's blown up with the Avengers like we haven't had a game in the MCU like a proper yeah. like a console yeah. game there were those prototypes of a first person game where like you would be Which you would swap trash. between Iron Man oh yeah totally awful. it was yeah. like Iron was Man a, yeah. game? aside from that we haven't had like an MCU Game. No, absolutely. You just had yeah. side stuff. I mean, so. yeah, there's Disney games. Infinity, which is yeah. yeah Disney I guess Infinity. that's yeah. Yeah. As, yeah. I guess it's not fair to yeah. discount that. Um, yeah, but I mean, that's that's exciting. I guess mm-hmm. I just yeah, like I mean, I love I love Disney Infinity, I love the Lego stuff, but like, I'd really just like to see like a like an Arkham an Arkham Knight quality Arkham you know Arkham City quality Marvel game. Yeah, and yeah. that said, like I love the Arkham games so much. I actually don't care about a Spider-Man game or even an Avengers game being tied to the MCU. Oh no! Totally like not. I feel like I would prefer it if it wasn't tied to the MCU. Well, especially because like Arkham's not that... tied to the movies. No, and not it's at all. Incredible. Exactly, it's yeah. kind of better than the movies. Yes, totally. Because you don't it, have to answer to that. Yeah. yeah, and then it also has the issue of like voice actors not being consistent, which is yeah. really frustrating, and that really let down um, Lego. Lego. Yeah, Marvel's mm-hmm. Avengers. That was like some awkward, weird chunks that had bad mixing taken from the movies were put into the game, and it just it was really restricting more than anything. So I think it's better for creativity and for voice acting to not have to tie it to the movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, completely agree. Basically, I just want Arkham City and Arkham Asylum versions of everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 I'm down for that. 